Hi, welcome to La Excellence. We have exactly 45 days time for our prelims examination that will be held on June 3rd. Many students are asking us on how to prepare for these 45 days for the prelims examination. But there is no one single plan because we all are different. It is because some of us might just have finished our coaching, some of us are working, some of us have not taken this exam seriously till now and just started the preparation. For all of us, the question is how to prepare for these 45 days. For all of us, the question in our hearts is how to approach the exam or how to plan for prelims in this short period of 45 days. In this video, we'll see the plan which includes number of days for each subject, the book list for each subject and how to practice bits for each of the subject. Before giving the plan, let me tell you one thing. As I said already, we all are different. So, there is no one single plan for all of us. We need to customize the plan according to our own needs. So, if you already have the plan for these 45 days, please stick to it. If needed, only modify that after watching this video. But don't go away or don't scrap that earlier plan of yours. But if you don't have a plan, then after watching this video, please make one plan. But that plan should be based on your strengths, based on your requirements. And for that, you should understand yourself better. What I have read till now, what I should read, what subjects uh, am I have the strength, all these you need to question yourself first, then prepare a plan. Now, let's get into the plan. As we know, we have two papers in our prelims examination, paper 1 and paper 2. Paper 2 is qualifying paper. We need to get 66 marks, that is 33% in that paper. Paper 1 is considered for merit. If we take paper 2, most of us are comfortable with it. But some of us have difficulty with that paper. So, those who have difficulty with this paper, with paper 2, please practice. At least devote 1 or 2 hours per week for this paper. Practice the past 5 years papers and the models in those papers so that you get comfortable to get 66 marks in that paper. Now, in this video, we will be focusing on paper 1 mostly because as I have explained you, paper 2 is qualifying and most of us are comfortable with it. If needed, we can make separate video on how to deal with paper 2 in the prelims examination. We need to put in our maximum efforts for paper 1 as the marks in this paper are considered for the merit or for the taking cutoff. So, let's see the detailed subject-wise marks markup for paper 1. If you observe this table, in this table, subject-wise marks division is given for the past 7 years. If we observe this table, the average number of questions in history are 15. In geography, 12 to 15 questions. In polity, 15 to 20 questions. In economy, 15 to 17 questions. In science and technology, 10 to 12 questions. In environment, we are getting 15 to 17 questions. If we observe current affairs, we are getting on an average 20 questions in the recent years. So we should focus on all these subjects. We cannot neglect any subjects that we have in our prelims. We don't know in which year, how many questions they ask. So we should read all the subjects. But Based on our convenience, we can allot more time to one subject, we can reduce time for other subject. So, if we take current affairs as a subject, we have total 7 subjects. We have 45 days of time. First, let's divide these 45 days into 2 revision periods. One is 35 days for the detailed revision, one is 10 days for the quick revision before the exam. Here, I am using the word revision. Why? Why? Because we must have read all these subjects at least once before going for these 45 days plan. We might have taken coaching or we might have self-studied each of the subjects. At least we might have known the basics. That's why I have used the word revision. Okay, as we have 7 subjects to revise in 35 days, we'll be having 5 days for each subject. 
that can be a plan for some people but i consider current affairs need to be studied daily in parts wise for example half a month per day so if we keep current affairs aside we'll be having six subjects among them five are major subjects like polity history economy geography ecology and environment science and technology can be revised in one or two days so let us divide these six subjects under 36 days 36 days each subject seven days for science and technology two days so obviously we'll be having 36 or 37 days for revision of all these subjects i'll keep current affairs for each day every day at least one or two hours i'll divide it so we need to study a subject and current affairs on each day here one thing to remember is don't make notes now if you haven't made your notes earlier don't make it now utilize the entire time for your revision no need to make notes if you have revised it multiple times already then you can go for making notes otherwise don't do that as we have discussed already we have 7 days per each major subject now let us see what books to read how to revise in these 7 days first subject let's take polity as we have seen earlier in the weightage table we are getting 15 to 20 questions from polity If you observe the previous papers we can answer all the questions that are given in the question paper or at least we can write 95% of the questions that are given in the question paper so we should focus on polity very carefully first we need to read our class notes if we have ncrts and then go for lakshmikant or any other textbook that you are following but for prelims examination lakshmikant is enough but first revise your class notes because within one day you can revise your class notes and get the grip of the subject then you revise ncrts then go for lakshmikant that way it will be easy it can be done in two ways for example take one chapter like preamble read it from your class notes ncrts and lakshmikant that can be one way or the other way is you read entire class notes read entire ncrts and read lakshmikant that can be other way while revising the subject in this case polity while revising this we need to practice for prelims questions we need to practice two types of questions one is previous question one is the mock test or test series these two we need to practice this you can do in two ways again you can you can practice them according to the chapter it means for example if you are reading central government then you practice Uh, questions related to central government from previous questions and from the mock test or you finish reading the entire subject you practice the question paper separately that can also be done it is based on your aptitude as we have discussed earlier along with the subject we need to revise current affairs we need to read current affairs every day as we have discussed earlier we need to revise current affairs daily this can be done again in two ways one you revise a month's current affairs or half a month's current affairs that day or you take the current affairs of that particular subject in this case polity you take current affairs polity and read along with the subject for example we have kept 7 days for polity so in these 7 days every day you try to read current affairs all the current affairs related to polity from all the 10 months we need to read last 10 months current affairs so you try finish the polity current affairs within these 7 days these are the two ways you revise your current affairs here one point is you need not go for multiple sources confine yourself to two or three not more than that anyways you will be practicing many mock tests where we have given the current affairs questions also so confine yourself to one or two sources for current affairs let's take the next subject let's take geography as we have seen in the weightage table we are getting 12 to 15 questions every year from geography we need to read class notes if we have ncrts and one textbook called gc leong ncrts we need to read from 6 to 12 if you have read only 11th and 12th that will also be fine in gc leong book we need to focus mostly on the last chapters where they have discussed the climatic regions that we should focus on along with these sources 
for geography the important thing is to have knowledge on maps map pointing they are asking many questions in the recent years based on the map pointing for example there was one question on from which of the following states the tropic of cancer passes so we need to know the number of states we need to know which states names of the states in india likewise there are many questions from map pointing what should we do for that we cannot read it and revise it within 2 3 days so confine yourself to reading the map pointing you take one book oxford atlas or so then try to read for half an hour daily if you read and revise daily you can remember it thoroughly so you, when you see the question you can answer it properly so keep map reading as one of your habit throughout this preparation not just for prelims even for mains keep map reading as your habit as discussed earlier for polity we need to revise current affairs geography related current affairs you try to read in this one week time then what else next to practice the previous questions and to practice the mock test for geography you can do it in two ways as we have discussed earlier you can practice along with the chapter or you can practice after finishing the syllabus but you need to do it within these seven days next subject is economy as we have seen earlier in the weightage chart we are getting 15 to 17 questions from economy here most of the questions are from basics other than that we are getting questions from current affairs even from the current affairs questions are asked basically on the basics so for revising economy we need to confine ourselves to class notes ncrts any one textbook or material that you have already read once these three should do but remember that no need to go to the deeper details of each of the topics you just know the basics especially in this economy the difficulty is we have lot of current affairs material that goes very deeper of each and every subject or each and every topic that's not necessary if you observe the previous papers the questions are on basics not on the deeper details in economy when you read your notebook or textbook anything you can leave out some of the topics in economy like the topics especially for the mains that can be left out those are not needed for the prelims examination let's take agricultural reforms agricultural reforms is very important topic in our mains but we need not to read in deep in our prelims examination we should know what are the programs taken for the agricultural reforms but we need not go for what are the reasons for crisis what are the alternatives what are the remedies these things are not required for prelims so please confine yourself to prelims and basics in the economy subject as usual we need to practice previous bits and the mock tests we need to read current affairs but I, as i said you the current affairs need not go into the deeper details you just know the basics out of basics you can answer the questions the next subject is history in history we are getting on an average 15 questions every year here art and culture is also included in that table that i have given so it can be divided into ancient indian history medieval indian history modern indian history along with reading history we need to read art and culture associated with that period for example if we are reading ancient history read art and culture related to that period if we are reading medieval history read art and culture related to that modern history read art and culture related to that by that way we can finish hist- historical aspects as well as art and culture issues simultaneously many of the students are facing difficulty in remembering the factual data in history that's why some of us come and ask us ma'am can i skip this part can i skip entire medieval history can i skip ancient india and only read modern history can i do that that's the question many of us ask but can we do that no because we don't know from where questions come obviously modern india is very important we read that and it's little bit interesting so we read that but in ancient india also we need not skip some topics we should read some topics like indus valley civilization buddhism jainism vedic literature gupta period sangam period these things we should focus on 
in medieval history we should focus on administrative aspects we can leave out the political aspects which ruler which king these things we can leave out but the administrative aspects and literature aspects we should read for example we can leave who are the mogal rulers the names their successors but we should know the mogal administration and details related to it we should know the mogal architecture likewise we should know which topics can be left out which topics to read that we can know by observing our previous papers that's why solve previous questions so that you get to know the scope of the topic now let's see the books for history we have ncrts 6 to 8 we need to read they are very basic books they give basic knowledge about the modern medieval and ancient history after that we need to read 11th and 12th class books for ancient medieval and modern if you are unable to read these books if you have your class notes and our handmade notes you just read that but for modern india please follow either ncrt or spectrum these two can be can be read but don't follow both it's not necessary to read both you can read any one of them for this subject also we need to practice prelims questions previous questions and mock tests and we need to revise the current affairs if there are anything associated with the historical events we need to revise them for example champaran 100 years of champaran that we need to revise champaran moment we need to revise the next subject is ecology and environment here we are getting 20 to 25 questions on an average every year especially from 2013 the weightage for ecology and environment has been increasing so we should focus on this particularly here some of the questions are from basics majority of them are from current affairs we have difficulty in reading this subject because there are many names that we should remember but it's a false notion you just remember the basics and try to read endangered species critically endangered species only out of the current affairs if you try to remember all the list of the critically endangered species it may not be possible so revise the things that are there in the current affairs because in environment and ecology they are asking mostly current affairs related questions and in the exam conventions protocols at least one or two questions we are getting so we are trying to remember all the provisions of these protocols conventions is it possible to remember all of them it may be but it takes lot of time and effort so know the basics for example if we take paris climate change summit paris summit here paris agreement we need to know what are indcs what are the member countries whether india ratified it or not what are india's goals that we should remember basics we should know we need not go into the deeper details of each and every protocol or convention but if that is in the news read it along with the basics you read the basics you read why it's in the news these two we should do when it comes to the book list for ecology and environment we need to read 11th class geography where in 11th class physical geography textbook we have two chapters last two chapters are dealing with basics of environment and ecology and 12th class biology book last four chapters in 12th class biology are dealing with ecology and environment after reading these two then you go for your class notes or any other institute's material or any textbook but one should do read these basics class notes then any one book or material that will be enough don't go into the much deeper details read current affairs as we have planned in these 7 days you complete all the current affairs related to environment and ecology as discussed we need to practice questions previous questions mock test you practice by revising all these five subjects we have completed 35 days for science and technology we have kept one day in that day you revise basics and go through the superficial current affairs you need not read everything in detail but whatever are there in the news recently you try to read them because in even in science and technology also they are asking basic questions so revise the basics that's it with this we have completed 36 days now we have 9 days of time in this 9 days leave the last 2 days last 2 days means june 1st and june 2nd you just leave those 2 days because that time is for relaxing and revising the 
the facts and formulas so leave out those two days we have essentially six days of time in these six days you try revising it for other time take six subjects what we have divided take six subjects and revise them in the earlier 35 or 36 days you need to revise value added subjects like economic survey budget india yearbook as you read current affairs every day along with that you need to read one one chapter or two two chapters of yearbook and economic survey with in that 35 days time itself you should finish them that should be our goal now we have finished 36 days 10 days plan meanwhile practice paper to at least once a week don't neglect that even if you are comfortable with that without practice it becomes a little difficult so practice at least one hour per week that will be fine those who have difficulty with paper 2 you focus on your strong areas if you are strong if you are basics are strong in mathematics you try solving many of the reasoning and quant but you should also focus on reading comprehension if you are strong in reading comprehension and related aspects you focus on them mostly but you should know the basic aspects related to mathematics reasoning quant but in the ideal case you should balance both you should have basic knowledge on both the reading comprehensions and on the mathematics concepts in the last two days just relax and revise the tables or facts that you have noted down while revising that should do the one important thing that i wanted to tell you is who is our biggest enemy in this examination the biggest enemy is fear this is the thing that makes us vulnerable that makes us depressed so please keep your efforts as much as possible so that you can keep aside fear if you practice more you gain the confidence so the quotient of fear gets away from you whether we qualify in this examination or not it's a difficult question to answer we don't know because we have a cut off but we should give our 100% to qualify in this exam so let us plan and implement it properly it's not enough to plan you should or we should implement it properly the other question that many students ask is how many hours should i study you have given us 45 days plan but how many hours should we study i can't answer that question it's based on your attitude your level of preparedness earlier to this plan based on that you devise number of hours some of you might read 3 hours some of you can put in 9 hours it's based on your convenience and your choice we'll make another video for how to mitigate or how to reduce the errors while answering the prelims question paper that will make another video but for now prepare a good plan and implement it properly that should do and all the very best happy preparation thank you